Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. So in this video we're going to be looking at another example where we're using De Moivre's theorem to solve a question. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. If z equals cos pi over n plus i sine pi over n and n is a positive integer, prove that 1 plus z plus z squared all the way up to z to the power 2n minus 1 equals 0. That's part one. And part two, the same thing, oh, similar thing, one plus z plus z squared, all the way up to z to the power n minus one, is equal to one plus i cot pi over two n. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. Okay, so the main trick in this question is to recognize that this here is a geometric sum. So, Let's write this, 1 plus z plus z squared 2n minus 1 is a geometric sum. That's not a geometric progression because there's these plus signs. We're adding up all the terms. So without the plus signs, it's a GP or a geometric progression. But because we have these plus, it's a plus sign. So it's a geometric sum with, now the first term, remember A is the first term. So A is equal to 1. So that's the first term. What's the ratio? Well, each term is being multiplied by Z. So each term is Z times more than the one before it. So the ratio is equal to Z. And how many terms are there? Well, if we just look here, we have z to the power 1 with one term, z to the power 2 with two terms, z to the power 3 with three terms, and then we go all the way up to z to the power 2n minus 1, which will have 2n minus 1 terms. But we have this extra 1 out the front, so that's another term on top of 2n minus 1. So we have 2n terms. Okay, so therefore, our sum is going to be this. We can find a nice closed formula for this. And this is just using your two knot knowledge. So remember the formula, the sum of n terms is a into 1 minus r to the power n over 1 minus r. All right, so here a is 1 into 1 minus, well, what's r? r is z. That's our ratio. N is how many terms there are, and we have 2n terms. So we can have 2n over 1 minus r, so 1 minus z. Okay, so now we need to show that this is 0. Okay, so we're going to have, now this 1 we don't need to write, we have 1 minus z to the power 2n, well z is cos pi over n plus i sine pi over n, so we can write this as cis pi over n all to the power 2n over 1 minus cis pi on n. Remember, cis is just an abbreviation for cos plus i sine. Alright? So we're going to have, now we can apply De Moivre's theorem and we're going to get 1 minus cis, so we're going to have 2 pi and that comes from 2n pi over n. So these n's will cancel. We'll do it in two steps. So this here is by De Moivre's theorem. So this step from here to here is De Moivre's theorem. And then, obviously, these n's can cancel. And we get cis 2 pi over 1 minus cis pi on n. Okay, but cis 2 pi has a value. What's its value? Well, you can think of what cos 2 pi is and sin 2 pi is and work it out. But it might become a bit more obvious that if you start on the real axis and go around 2 pi, you'll come back to 1. So this value here is 1, and we're going to get 1 minus 1 over 1 minus cis pi on n, and 1 minus 1 on the numerator, provided that the denominator is not 0. So this will be 0 over something that's non-zero, and so we get 0, right? And so 
therefore we've shown that 1 plus z plus z squared up to z to the power or 2n minus 1 is equal to 0. All right, and we've shown what we want, so we can write QED. All right, let's have a look at part 2. So now we're doing the same thing up to n minus 1. We need to show that's equal to 1 plus i cot of pi over 2n. Okay, so this 2n here, this 2 in the, in the denominator, might give you a little bit of a hint. So, let's have a go at part 2. So we have 1 plus z plus z squared up to z to the power n minus 1. Now this is also a geometric sum. Again, we have a equal to 1, r equal to z. How many terms do we have here? Well, if we just consider the z's, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to n minus 1. And then we have this extra term here, which is 1. And so we have and n terms. We have n terms. Okay. And once again, we can apply this sum formula, the sum of a geometric progression. And we get 1 plus z plus z squared up to z to the power n minus 1. That's equal to a, which is 1, into 1 minus r, which is z to the power n, or to the power however many terms, in this case it turns out to be n, over 1 minus r, which is z. And we can do the same thing and substitute in z as cos plus i sine. So it's 1 minus, well, cos plus i sine can be written as cis. And so that's what we get, 1 minus cis pi on n. Okay, now we can apply De Moivre's theorem again. And we get... 1 minus, when we bring the power into the argument, these n's will cancel and we're left with cis pi. 1 minus, now I'm going to write this cis in expanded form. And you'll see why in a moment. Okay, now what's cis pi? Well, cis is pi is going to the negative real axis, so this is going to be minus 1. So this will be 1 minus negative 1, which is 1 plus 1, or just simply 2. Over. Now, how are we going to simplify this? The aim here is to eliminate this 1 out the front. And we've seen in a couple of uh, videos before that the trick here is to remember your double angle formulas. Let's move this on. Remember your double angle formulas. Cos 2x. Now here, remember cos 2x can be written in three different ways. We want the expression where we have a positive 1. So that we can have 1 minus 1, which will eliminate our 1s. So we're going to use 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And of course we also need to consider sine 2x as 2 sine x cos x. Alright, so we're going to use 1 minus, now cos is going to be 1 minus 2 sine squared of half of this angle. Okay, so 1 minus 2 sine squared of pi over 2n, because we want half of this angle here. Okay, plus 2 sine pi on 2n cos pi on 2n and there's an i out the front because it's i sine okay now when we simplify we're going to get 2 over now this 1 and minus 1 will cancel and then we have to flip the signs here because we have a minus out the front so this will become 2 sine squared pi on 2n 
plus 2i sine pi over 2n cos pi over 2n in the denominator we can factor out a 2 sine pi over 2n so I'm going to have 2 all over 2 sine pi over 2n and here we're left with sine pi over 2n oh this should be a negative here because we're flipping the signs minus a i cos pi on 2n okay now usually when we have sine plus or minus i cos we like to change around and get to cos plus i sine and the way we do that is by exploiting the fact that i to the power 4 is 1 and i cubed equals minus i but we don't actually need it in this case because all we want to do is realize this denominator and the way to do that is multiplying by the conjugate so when we we can cancel these twos and we're going to left with a one on the in the numerator <clears throat> and when we multiply by the conjugate that'll be multiplying by sine pi over 2n and the conjugate's just flipping this sign here so we're going to have plus i cos pi on 2n over sine pi over 2n and then here when we're multiplying a complex number by its conjugate we get the square of the real part plus the square of the imaginary part so this is going to be sine squared pi over 2n plus cos squared pi over 2n okay now we recognize here that we have sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of the same angle so this here is one this is our trigonometric identity so we get sine pi over 2n plus i cos pi over 2n all over sine pi over 2n and then we can divide both parts and we get sine divided by sine is 1 plus i cos divided by sine is cot which is the reciprocal of tan Whoop. cot pi on 2n and that's what we wanted to prove okay so we've shown this result here and when we do that we can write QED okay so that's the end of the question here so typically with questions where we have these sort of expressions these are geometric sums you need to remember your geometric sum formula and it can help you to solve the question there are other questions that have these sort of types but it's quite common that you see these with geometric sums that you need to apply okay so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching